Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. My name is Lou and today we're going to be creating another mini pond. Oh look, it's my cat. Say hi Loki. Sorry about that, I just couldn't help myself. A few months ago, I posted a video about the making of my mini pond that houses my beta sorority. These ponds serve as a captivating extension of my passion for aquatic ecosystems. It allows me to explore and express creativity on a smaller scale and budget. Also, with these types of mini ponds, a self-sustaining ecosystem emerges as aquatic plants and fish create a harmonious balance. The interdependence between oxygen-producing plants and fish fosters a closed system, requiring minimal intervention. It is the epitome of nature's self-sufficiency. For that reason, I will continually be posting about my mini ponds and perhaps take you on a tour where it all began, my parents' home. But before we dive in, if you're new here, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of my next video. Also, please stick around till the end where I share with you my learning for this particular project. Let's get started. For our outdoor pond, we're using a terracotta pot. Terracotta pots are not just attractive, they're really ideal for fish keeping and plant growing. Their porous nature helps regulate water temperature and chemistry, contributing to a balanced ecosystem. Plus, they blend beautifully with any outdoor decor. For indoor ponds, you can opt for containers beyond traditional terracotta to introduce a unique aesthetics to your home. Maybe you could consider glass bowls, plastic containers, ceramic pots, or even metal containers to add a touch of elegance. Whatever you will think that will match the theme and interior decoration of your home. Whichever container you decide to go for, ensure that the chosen container is waterproof and spacious enough for the plants and fish you plan to include. To take it a step further, you can even enhance visual appeal by experimenting with containers of varying shapes and sizes, and perhaps different levels to create a dynamic environment. If it's an outdoor pond, place your container in a strategic position where it gets sunlight for about 6 to 8 hours. If it's an indoor pond, you could place it by the window for natural sunlight, or you could add a lighting unit to ensure healthy growth for your ecosystem. To keep this project pocket friendly, I'm employing a repurposing strategy by taking cuttings from existing plants in other pots. This way, we're not just saving on cost, but also helps cultivate sustainability of aquatic plants in your own home. If you don't currently have existing plants to harvest from, you could also pick easy-growing, low-cost plants to start with, like Kabomba, Water Sprites, Java Fern, or Amazon Sword. Over here, I'm just looking for a fully grown Mexican sword plant I can harvest. This is a little tricky considering it's a fully rooted plant and I had to separate it from the other plant using scissors. There is an easier way to propagate, and that is to use the little plantlets on the flowering stem, but this method takes longer to develop as we wait for the plantlet to grow. For this project, I wanted a fully grown plant to help speed up the filtration process for this pond. I also picked this plant to introduce an element of elevation and depth. And to enhance the surface of the water, I've picked water lilies so we're adding both height and dimension to the overall setup. Our mini pond isn't just a decorative piece. 
it is a 100% complete ecosystem. The combination of plants, mud, and rocks create a natural balance, requiring little to no maintenance at all. It is a self-sustaining environment where every element plays a crucial role. From time to time, I would top up the pot with water and that's pretty much all you need. These underwater plants aren't just there for their visual appeal. They play a vital role in maintaining the health of our ecosystem. These plants contribute to a balanced aquatic environment, fostering a natural harmony that goes beyond aesthetics. It's not just a pond, it's a thriving, interconnected ecosystem. A fascinating ecological process unfolds when fish waste, ammonia, and nitrates, often considered byproducts, become valuable resources. Aquatic plants, through a natural filtration process, absorb these compounds and, in turn, release beneficial oxygen into the water. This symbiotic relationship showcases the remarkable ability of plants to transform potential pollutants into life-sustaining elements, contributing to the overall health and balance of the pond ecosystem. Halfway through the process, I'm filling our terracotta pot with water. Initially, you'll notice the water becomes cloudy due to the mud. Don't worry, this is a natural part of the process. To clear it up, simply change the water a few times a week. As the sediment settles and beneficial bacteria establish themselves, the water will become crystal clear, creating the perfect environment for our mini patio pond. You can also add pebbles or sand substrate to avoid disturbing the mud, but I'm leaving mine as is. As the pot is quite shallow, I'm securing the Amazon sword with more lava rocks. One key lesson is the importance of strategic design. In hindsight, perhaps I should have drilled on either side of the pot to prevent overflow when it rains. Another consideration revolves around the choice of plants. Whilst Mexican sword plant is a beautiful plant, it's a fast-growing plant that will easily take over the entire pot within months. It is an ongoing journey of discovery and refinement where each new setup becomes a testament to the harmonious coexistence of nature and creativity. In essence, I decided to do another mini pond video because it's a blend of creative passion and hands-on learning. Thank you so much for joining me in this journey and thank you also for your support. It really means the whole world to me and also for staying right till the end. I really hope that this video is helpful to you and if you do find it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And I also really hope that this video will inspire you to create your own mini pond at home. Until next time, bye.